Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Pokemon Yellow by obtaining the Marsh Badge. So off camera, I freed up some inventory space on my computer. Basically, I removed some TMs and taught them to my Pokemon. Saitel now knows Body Slam and Seismic Toss, taking the place of Horn Attack and Double Kick. Loki Chu now knows Double Edge. That takes the place of Slam. So with that out of the way, let's go to the Saffron Gem and obtain our new badge. The gem is over to our right here. And you'll see that there are actually two gems. One is the real gem, and the other one is a pseudo-gem. This one right here to our left is known as the fighting, do fighting Dojo. That's not the real gem. The real gem is to our right here. Upon entry, you will notice that there are warp tiles here. Yes, the warp tiles are back from Slifco. Now, the Saffron Gem focuses on Psychic. That can be a real problem given how overpowered Psychic is in this generation. Technically, Psychic's weakness is Ghost and Bug, but since many of those types have a poison type being attached to them, it makes them actually weak against Psychic. Now, you can use Ghost or Bug. It's best that you don't, though. Your best bet is to actually use an element that is neutral to Psychic. Another thing you can do is actually focus on a, s a secondary weakness. See, like Slowpoke is psychic in water. That water typing makes it weak to grass. Though very many trainer... N Let me rephrase that. I can't talk this morning. I apologize. Not many trainers in this gym have... Pokemon with secondary typings to them. I actually do not remember the route to the gym leader, so I guess this will be a trial and error experiment. There is a specific path that if you follow, you can avoid most of the trainers here and just get to the gym leader. As I said though, I don't really remember the path. No, it doesn't scare me. One thing to also keep in mind regarding Psychic-type is that they don't have very strong physical defenses. 
So you can basically spam physical attacks on them. Just remember to have a Pokemon that's actually faster than them, especially if it has an elemental disadvantage to psychic types. Okay, let's try this one. Huh, so far so good. Seems like I'm doing alright. This is a gem. Why else would I be in a gem if I did not want to see the gem leader? You don't need to be a psychic to figure that out. Yeah, I don't think that's the route. Uh, maybe it was over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is, I believe, the route. Sorry, as I said, it's been a while since I played a Generation 1 game, so I don't really remember the exact route. Actually, I think I'll keep Saitel on top, even though he's at an elemental disadvantage. As I said, Psychics don't have very strong physical defenses. So if you're fast enough, you can actually one-hit KO a Psychic Pokémon. If you dislike fighting, then why are you a gym leader? Sorry, sometimes I have to question the logic of certain statements. Okay, you had a bigger team roster in Red and Blue. And why do you have a level 50 Abra? Oh, never mind.
That's some pretty good artwork for Alakazam. Why did you use Recover when you have full health? See? Not very strong physical defenses. Because Saitel one hit KO'd every single one of them. Remember the route out of here. Um, was it this one? Yes, it was. There we go. Anyway, we're not done with Saffron City yet. No, as I said, here's the pseudo gem, and it's filled with fighting Pokemon, obviously, based on its name. There's not much to really say about this gym here. Most of the um, black belts here use a pretty standard subset fighting group. Although there are two fighting Pokemon that the leader has that cannot be found anywhere else in the game. And when we get there, you'll see them. It's just getting through all these black belts. I guess, though, I can talk a little bit about the Fighting Dojo. From what I read, the Fighting Dojo was actually the original gym in Saffron City. However, their leader was defeated by Sabrina, which is not surprising given the fact that fighting is weak against Psychic. Their gym was basically allowed to stay, but Sabrina became the gym leader. At least that's how I understood it. If I'm wrong, please correct me.
Here is what I call the Hitmon duo. They're comprised of Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. And then eventually when Johto was released, there was Hitmon Top. So they became the Hitmon Trio. They're basically, obviously, fighting type Pokemon. But this is the only place in the Kanto region where you can obtain them. After you defeat the Karate Master, you get the choice of picking one. You basically have to trade with the other counterparts to get the other. How are you feeling, Loki Chu? Eh, no change. Well, there's the gems of Saffron City. So let's head back to the Pokemon Center and heal our Pokemon. And deposit Hitmon Lee, our new fighting Pokemon. And let's deposit our new TM. Hopefully I still have room on my computer. Please tell me I still have room on my computer. Good. Phew. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. In the next part, we'll begin to make our way to Cinnabar Island. I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next episode.